this guy is very very dangerous he can hypnotize you after 824 days i thought done with it but nobody can make me move but again when i looked at him i was hypnotized by his course his name is julius Caesar. julius Caesar said veni vidi vici that means i came i saw i conquered to come you have to prepare you cannot come at all. You cannot say I came to come. You have come means a huge amount of magnetic power involves in that coming to your house. And your wife will stand with a beautiful flower well dressed to welcome you with a cup of water and a bowl to wash your hands and legs and takes you inside for you to come you have to carry something you have carried your heart labor beautifully and on the way you carried some beautiful presents for the house to be cooked Julius Caesar said when he, with he, with he, I came to come Yes, it is easy to come, but it is not easy at all. To, for you to come, you have to do your warming up exercise. And your stretching exercise. And the, when the body starts getting the things loosened up, greased properly, you start your basics, your foundation called your Samskrit. And from your Samskriti, you can find the body starts sweating on your stamina workout. And then you go out and fight. Yes, you are come to the field to fight. Yes, when you dig, you feel your Dig it properly. Julius Caesar said, I came for you to come. You have to make sure that the weapons are polished and sharpened. Like the woodcutter went and told the master, When I came to you per day, I could cut around 20 trees. Now, two years down the line, I could not even cut two. I'm thinking, I am losing my power. I am getting old, so I wanted to retire. The owner said, your body looks beautiful. Yes, full of muscles than before. No fat at all. Only skeletal muscle, brimming with energy and power. In fact, you could cut three times more than what you were cutting before. The problem with you is, it is not the problem of you. It's the problem of your axe. Take it and sharpen it. You forgot to sharpen almost every day when you sharpen. When you sharpen, then you came. You came with the axe and the axe knows it strikes without thinking. It strikes without thinking. Knocked on is thy name. Julius Caesar said, I came for you to come to the examination center. You have to prepare to come to the examination center. And Judas is I came, I saw, I conquered. When you come to the examination center, you see the question paper, you saw the question paper, you came for you to come to the examination. You practiced a thousand times before you go to the stage in conscious layer. And in the thousand times, you are non-stop connected to your guru or to your teacher to make sure the smallest thing has been corrected. Yes. A thousand times. Julius Caesar said, I came. You came to the examination center. Otherwise, don't go to the examination center. And then you saw the question. And you conquered the answers. Answers, you have varieties of answers. Because when you practice a thousand times, you get many, many interpretations of answers. You can just select and put it. Just 
put it, paste it, and you got what you got is hundred out of hundred. Yes, to the doctors. Yes, I came. Julius Caesar said to go to the hospital to enter into the surgery area, operation theater. The doctor has to go prepared, meditate, and go. Mind empty and go to love that patient. And the moment he saw the operation was successful, but when he's drunk or he did not meditate and go, then we might leave some scissors and other operation maybe right inside the stomach and stitch it back. The people who are standing around you, around the doctor, are unconscious. They might stitch it. Because they just believed you. So you as a master must go there. Like Julius says, I came, doctor came, he saw the patient. He conquered the patient, means the operation was successful. You do not have to take anything in writing that I am not responsible if anything went wrong. No, no, no. When you practice, who is going to stop? Yes. Such is the beauty of your house, your family. You go to your family, prepare you. Because the family is a huge, big world, a universe by itself. You saw the family. You came to the family. And when you, when you see the family, you were conscious, you are observant. Yes. And you conquered means you know everything what is happening. My auditor told me before I started and reached this stage. When I started, I did not even keep a sweeper. I was sweeping. Typing was mine. Now he's a big man, that is different. He said, everything I did, in case somebody leaves my office, I know to sweep, I know to type, I know to talk to the people, I know to write down, I know to do so many things. That is the way of a family man. When you saw your family, when you came to your family, you saw and then you conquered means you have made sure that everything is in proper place. What is the proper place? You have got connected to your nature. You know you are a lover. You know to love. You know to hug every tree possible. To get the resistance power. When you hug the tree and you talk to the tree and give a hug and a kiss to the tree. That becomes tree therapy. The tree becomes stronger and you get resistance power. Surrounding the trees, everything grows with a lot of flowers. And seeing your love, rainwater comes, the clouds will not move out from your place. It just showers down the water. Yes, that is the power, magnetic power. Yes. Julius Caesar said, came, you came, you saw, when you saw, you spoke, you loved, you embraced. Yes. And when you conquered, means you both had the orgasmic experience, you and the nature, you and the wife, you and the family, yes. That yin and the yang together connecting at the same time. Julius used to say, I came, I saw, I conquered. People come from the offices to the house. When they reach the house, they are tired. Then they are a slave. They came to the house. You come prepared for another one round, like how you get giddiness after you're doing a heavy round of practice or your work and you get giddiness and you fall down, sweating down, you remove your t-shirt and put a second roll. Seven times you fall down and squeeze the sweat out of your body. You are done the first day of your work. Like that when you come back to your house, you come prepared. To work another one round. If you spent eight hours in the office, you're going to spend eight hours in the house, not sitting on the easy chair and watching the TV and asking your wife to serve you. You have gone back to serve, to melt, to conquer. I came. You came to the house. You saw the house. Not once in a year. Every day you saw. For you to see, you have been observant to see. Every day you have Kaisan, one improvement in every department. And then when you go to sleep, we are, we are conquered. A sleep is beautiful. That orgasmic experience in every part is beautiful. Your sweat is not stinking. It is one of the most beautiful perf perfume. People run 
to smell the perfume that sweat from many many people especially, especially the actresses that sweat when it falls down into the blind it is more powerful than the ozone water rain water and everything grows but if you don't sweat every one of your spit is a dangerous poison every one mouth when you open your mouth and words coming out from your mouth is poisonous julius caesar said veni vidi vici i came i saw i conquered